Hi YouTube, this is Care Bear. Um, just checking in and seeing how you guys are doing on your journeys. And I just wanted to um, just kind of follow up with you guys on my psych eval that I had on Monday. Um, <clears throat> it was really, um, I really went into it thinking I'm just going to share everything with her. I'm going to give her no reason to feel like I'm hiding anything or keeping anything back or whatever. And um, she, like, argued with me on points that I thought were so irrelevant. And, like, I didn't know whether or not I should be, like, arguing with her to correct her or whether that would come across as being unteachable or whether I should agree with her and then, and then I look like I'm insane. <laughs> no. I mean, I know the evaluation is not to determine whether or not I'm mentally mentally insane, but it's to determine whether or not I'm stable enough to be able to handle the changes that will come with weight loss surgery. Um, <clears throat> I've always heard that everybody's evaluation is one time, and um, we got into like family history of all kinds of stuff, and um, which I was, you know, fine to share, but I just was a little bit surprised, and she was like, yeah, this is going to take at least, at least four sessions, so it's going to take us a month. So, you know, I kind of left there thinking, well, I know I have to put in my time, and I'm happy to do that, <laughs> um, because I know that the end result will be worth it. I just, I just wish I was um, with somebody who wanted to listen to what I had to say, rather than asking questions um, that, that I thought were not really relevant to whatever we were talking about. It was just kind of, it was kind of a strange situation, but... Um, and I felt, and like, like one of the things that, that really frustrated me was that I've had a weight problem all my life. Ever since, I mean, like six years old, I remember, it's the, kind of the first memories of me that I, that I have of myself, you know, feeling like I was overweight. And um, she said, okay, well, I want to know as an adult what happened in your adult life to um, cause you to have that compulsion to overeat. Well, she, like, automatically assumed that I had a compulsion to overeat when, you know, I have three siblings and a father who've not really struggled with their weight, and I have all my life. And we sat at the same dinner table, had the same dinners every night, and I don't think I ate more portions than everybody else. So I think that a lot of it has to do with hereditary. I'm not saying that I don't enjoy food, and I probably indulge a little bit too often, but not once did I tell her that I was a compulsive eater, um, and she said, well, being overweight is a compulsive disorder. And I really felt like, you know, I've heard so often that it's a disease and a lot of it has to do with genetics and a lot of it has to do with whether or not you're exercising. You know, so there was a period when I was in high school, I was very, very active and I was still overweight. You know, um, it was a, the lowest that I can remember being as an adult in my weight, but I was still considered overweight. So she said, okay, well, what happened after that period of time that made you gain weight? How did your eating habits change? What significantly happened in your life that made you changed the way you ate. And I said, well, nothing changed. You know, I'd all, I've always eaten the same way. She said, well, what happened after 150 pounds? You know, when you were 150 pounds as a freshman, you know, and then when, you know, five or six years later you gained 50 pounds, you know, what was the difference, you know, in that? And I was like, well, nothing. I mean, I had stopped working out. I had stopped exercising regularly, but she wanted me to, like, specify something traumatic in my life that had happened. And nothing has happened. So I kind of, she was like, I really want you to think about this this week until our next session. And I kind of felt like, okay, am I supposed to come back and make something up for her to satisfy her? Because she's looking for a specific answer, you know? But it's like, it was like that's what she wanted. She, she would not take no for an answer with that. And I don't know how to answer her if it's not nothing. So that was just that kind of a thing where it was like she would argue with me. I don't want to hear about when you were a kid. I want to hear about when you were an adult how, you know, what things changed. So I don't know. I mean, it's like, I guess I can say, well, I, I moved out from my parents' house. I was working full-time. So convenience was that I would go and eat fast food all the time. But we ate fast food all the time when I was growing up, too. And I was not always active as a child, either. So it's not like a lot changed. I don't know. I don't know. So I just wanted to kind of give you guys, uh, you know, any words of advice would be helpful. <laughs> um, the good thing was that she never made it seem like, I don't know, I might not um, give you a letter of, of, you know, recommendation or whatever. It was, 
it was always like, well, at, you know, at the end of the four weeks, I will have been able to teach you what you need to know, um, and you know, you'll be ready to have the surgery, and then I'll be able to write the letter. So that was kind of nice to know that it was just a matter of um, her thinking that I was ready or not, you know. So anyway, um, honey, I can't talk right now. What do you need? Okay, if you want to get dressed, go ahead. If you need help, I can't help right now, but I will come up in a little bit. Okay? All right. That's my daughter, Elora. She and Elias are playing up in their bedroom right now, so it's a little bit before bedtime. Um, anyway, so I just wanted to kind of give you guys that. Next Monday is my next appointment with her. That's as far as we set up in advance. Um, and then um, on the 1st will be my next um, appointment with the surgeon. So I'm hoping that I'm going to go having completed a lot of what they wanted, hopefully everything that they wanted, um, and they'll be, you know, happy with my progress so far. So I just wanted to let you guys know that, and um, I will uh, check in with you guys soon. All right, talk to you later. Bye.